hello my friends it's so good to have you here again thank you so much for tuning in to my channel thank you for staying tuned thank you for always coming here to watch my video i am super super grateful and also thank you for attracting new subscribers to my channel this means so much to me and i'm super grateful yes guys right now and we have something very interesting for you and don't forget we're here to give you the latest the hottest most reliable and authentic news as it drops by the R. And right here, the Northern Youth have come out to tell the governors of most of the Southern states, yes, they've given a press release to the Southern governors that they are not liabilities to any Southern um, part of Nigeria, that they are youths and they are confident that they know what they have in the North and whatever they have in the North is enough for them. They have a lot of natural resources and they can boast of that, that they are not to be compared to any other parts of Nigerians. So guys, before I bring you details of that news, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Ensure you hit the subscribe button immediately because we'll be waiting for you to join us and also ensure that you give this video a thumbs up turn on the notification bell and get notified anytime we drop a new video all right guys let's go details into the news as to hear what the northern youth have said as regards their press release the dilemma arises after a lot of criticism directed towards Northerners not because the other of the day, especially using social media platform, Southerners and their governors allegedly accused Northerners, calling them liability, especially with regards to the ongoing issues of Amajiris. Southerners believe that Amajiris are sources of Nigerian problem and these Amajiri are from northern parts of the country. The Kano Youth Political Forum KYPF has sent a message to Southern governors that governors that Northern Nigeria is not a liability to other parts of the country. This was recorded in press release by the chairman of the forum, Mukta Fader Rola. The press release reads, It's high time Northerners look at some of the historic facts and do away with the stereotype that the North is a liability to the to that the North is a liability and a burden in Nigeria. Northern Nigeria was an autonomous region with Nigeria, within Nigeria distinctly different from the southern part of the country coupled with different customs, foreign relations and security structures. In the past, the NOC culture dominated most of what is now Northern Nigeria its legacy in the form of terracotta status and negaliths have been discovered in Sokoto, Kano, Benikudu, Nok, Nok and Zaria, which is all in the northern Nigeria. From time to time, the region had different kingdoms, which unified to form the solid north. In a nutshell, the region was long known for its diversity, strong leadership and attractive customs. This helped immensely in metamorphosizing the land to a unified one. In 1959, the region gained its internal, internal self-government, led by Sir Hamadou Bello as the first premier of the North. Later, during the regime of General Yakubu Gowon in 1967, he broke up the four regions and constituted the, federal, the Federation of Nigeria through the creation of 12-state structure. In terms of geography, northern Nigeria is blessed with a serene weather and vast land for agriculture, with two main rivers of Benue and Niger. There are differences in submission there are differences in subdivision in savannah belts in the region, which varies the rainfall among the belts. Northern Nigeria was divided into group of provinces with our dear state Kano as the largest province in terms of population and economy. Their high, popula their, their high population of farmers and merchants in the region, referring back to some areas like Kano, which was known for a large production of agricultural products like granite and cotton provided. The main source of revenue for Nigeria were ras in Plateau, Tain mining, Benue known for steel mining, 
and sorts of metal extracts from Sokoto and Bauchi province. Though the land is still under BH boys, cattle rustlers, Igbo youths and others robbers in the region and invaders but the land doesn't slip into a prolonged slumber. Commercial and agricultural activities are still active, likewise seeking for knowledge and po political sagacity. Everybody in this country will easily agree when we say we are not a liability nor a burden. Yes, we are saying it from the land that was hardly breached by the foreign invaders due to our long system of rules, administration and knowledge. Before the foreign colonization, the land is a heaven of commerce and knowledge. We already know how to read and write. We sew clothes and build houses. We were shelved from atrocity and ruled by monarchs. And interestingly, up to this moment, we managed to maintain this. So let Southern governors be fully aware that if we are ready to ask those Northerners residing in their various states to come to the North, we can do it. But they should also prepare for accommodating their people living peacefully in northern Nigeria. Despite the economic recession in Nigeria in which some southern states couldn't pay workers, none of the northern states hold wages. Let's talk about the recent policy of President Muhammad Buhari about banning of importation of food and other products. If not for our vast land of agriculture, how would the country manage to take such strict measure and survive food crisis? We repeat, the North is not a liability. We are not handicapped as the South is insinuating, for God has blessed us with numerous blessings on which we thrive on the survivor. This is a clear message from the vibrant northerners. They are distancing themselves from being in liability. So guys, you've heard it. The northern youths have come out to speak their minds about how the southern and southeastern people are treating them that they are not liabilities and they've proven their point of what they can do with their hands, that they are not lazy youths, as speculated by our uh, uh, president some time ago so they've proven their point guys if you think that they are making sense if you think the uh, northern youths are making sense especially the canoe youths if you think they are making sense drop it in the comment section i'd like to read from you and also if you think that what the north um, uh, southeast governors and south south governors are doing by sending back our majorities Please also drop in in the comment section. We'll be waiting to read also from you. And don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you are new to us, if you're new to this channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button because we'll be waiting for you to join us. Do have a pleasant time. Bye.